How's it going here? And this is the new global edition of the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. I've done an unboxing and walkthrough of this phone. So if you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link somewhere to that video. But in this video, I want to show you all the settings you might want to change out of the box, especially when using MIUI. So this is how it's going to look straight out of the box. I didn't change anything. You can see the navigation buttons at the bottom. I'll show you how to change that. But first thing you might want to do is change the grid of icons. So you just pinch in, hit settings. And I usually go to the max grid of icons that I can possibly get there. So that's one of the first things that I would do. And another thing you can do is actually change the wallpaper. So this will launch the theme store. So you can actually go ahead and theme out your device, change the complete look of your device if you want to, if you go to themes. And if you want to make it look more like stock Android or even like a Pixel, you can search for something like Android 12 or even Pixel. And that'll bring up a bunch of themes for you to kind of change this look to more like stock Android or Pixel UI on Android 12 and there's a bunch that come up here. I've already got one installed and so if you actually want to know where your wallpapers and existing themes that you've already downloaded are, go to your profile and this is where the system wallpapers are. So this is kind of hidden. Most people may not know that this is where the onboard default system wallpapers are located. So if you don't want anything in the theme store, these are all the Xiaomi wallpapers and they're actually some pretty nice ones. So that's where you would access that. Uh, if you go back here, you can actually go ahead. I already, already downloaded an Android 12 theme. Once you download it, you can, it'll have this apply button. You just hit that and it'll fully apply the theme really quickly too. So you see it applied already and it completely changes the look of your phone. So it no longer looks like MIUI. You can see it even has the material U icons for all the Google icons and supported icons. And so it'll color match that to your wallpaper. And so the other thing you can do to make this look more like stockish Android or more like pixel UI is get rid of this widget here and actually go into your widgets and then go ahead and select, look under Google, select the at a glance widget right here. And then this is gonna be more like your pixel uh, widget right there. So you can see there, that very much looks like the pixel. It'll even launch the pixel weather app. So very much now looks more like a stock Android or pixel UI look and feel. So if you don't like MIUI, you want to theme it out, make it look more like a pixel or make it look more like Android 11 or Android 12, uh, then just go to the theme store, download your favorite theme, and you can achieve this look. Next thing I might want to do is also change how this looks. So if you swipe down from the right, you notice the control center. It looks very iOS-like and not a lot of people are going to like this or may not like this, especially in the US. You're not accustomed to this. You want to change it to more of how normal Android runs because if you swipe this way, you can get to your notifications or you're going to have to swipe down from the left to get to your notifications. So if you don't like how that op operates and you want to get it more to like how you're used to with Android, you can just go into your settings here and you can go down into notifications and control center. And then we can go into control center style and we'll choose old version. So this will get you more to the normal kind of control center that you're used to. So normal quick toggles here, swipe down again, you get all your quick toggles, your notifications will be down here at the bottom. No more swipe left or from the right. It's all just like how normal Android is. So some of the other things I might want to change out of the box definitely is going to be in display. So by default, the refresh rate is going to be at 60 hertz. And so this does support 120 hertz smooth refresh rate. So if you want that maximum refresh rate, you're going to want to go in here and change that to 120 hertz. Now, other things you might want to do is customize your always on display and your lock screen. So there is always on display in this and you can enable that. And they have a whole bunch of customization options here. So you can see signatures, which is basically just any kind of text you want. You can customize to whatever text you want in there. There are clocks from a whole bunch of analog clocks to digital clocks, to these kind of kaleidoscope kind of looking things. And of course, you can also change your background. So if you want to change your background to a specific image, you can do that. Uh, so a lot of customization options there for always on display, but at the very least, you might want to toggle that on. And other things to change in the display are raised to wake. If you like that, I personally don't, but another useful one is double tap to wake and turn off the display. So turning that on is really nice because now you can just double tap, especially if you have face unlock, it gets you right into your device. So that's definitely something that I like, double tap to wake, really nice feature there. So you might want to turn that on. Now, another feature you might want to enable is voice over Wi-Fi or also voice over LTE. So by default, there is no setting in your settings menu for your, uh, for your SIM card to enable voice over Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi calling or voice over LTE. So to do that on a Xiaomi device, you might know you have to dial in a specific code into the phone dialer. And you'll notice here, once you do that, it'll say voice over Wi-Fi carrier check is disabled, meaning that the setting will now show up in your actual settings menu and it's not controlled by the carrier. And same thing with the voice over LTE, dial in the specific code and it'll also enable that option as well. And so your settings menu will now look like this when you go into your SIM card settings. You'll now have the option to turn on voice over LTE as well as Wi-Fi calling. So if you don't see that in your settings, that's how you enable them on a Xiaomi device.
Another useful setting to go ahead and customize is your sound settings. So this comes with Dolby Atmos and the speakers are tuned by JBL. So there's some nice sound options. If you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see sound effects here and you can actually turn on Dolby Atmos. That's actually on by default out of the box. And so you have some presets here to choose from if you wanna do that, but you also have a custom graphic equalizer, which is really nice. So you can tune this to your specific preferences of how you wanna hear your audio. And also there's a hi-fi audio option. So that's why I had it disabled. When you turn that off, and you actually plug in a set of headphones, this will become available and you can now access things like the equalizer here and hi-fi audio settings because this ultimately does support some really nice audio. It does support up to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz audio. So really good to have those kind of fine tuned settings and really kind of more advanced audio and sound effects and settings on a phone at about the $350 price point. So really nice that you have the option to plug in if you really value your audio and you've got some really nice audio options to tune if you want. Another thing you might wanna calibrate is haptic feedback. So a lot of people like the haptics, which is the vibration patterns on the phones. And you can go into your sound and vibration settings and actually change that. If you don't want it, you can disable it, or you can actually go ahead and change how much haptic feedback do you want. Do you want it stronger or weaker? Some people prefer it much stronger to the point you can feel it. Some people don't like it as much. So this is where you can actually tune that haptic feedback level. Now, another thing you might want to change is some of the aggressive battery management. So if you go into your battery settings and you go into here, you'll see the app battery saver. So on the global version of Xiaomi devices, it's not as aggressive. So I don't usually find myself having to tune it like this, but for whatever reason, if you're noticing you're not getting any notifications, you can just come into the app battery saver, go ahead and actually pick the app and I'll put it to no restrictions. That makes sure that it's not turning things off or suppressing the app by, you know, on purpose and possibly discontinuing some of the notifications. So if you're not getting notifications, go into this portion of the settings here, go into each individual app that you want to make sure you're getting notifications for and go ahead and toggle no restrictions on. That should make sure that you're getting all notifications. Like I said, I don't notice it to be too aggressive here on the global versions, more or less on versions released in other regions. But if you're finding that a problem, this is where you can help change that setting. Other settings you might want to do is change your default apps. So you can go into apps, manage apps, and in this three dot menu up top, that's where you can change default apps. So if you wanna change your launcher, you can change it. But if you have other apps that you prefer for your gallery, like a photos app or a messaging app or phone apps or whatever, this is where you can go ahead and change those defaults to the specific app that you want to use all the time. All right, so one of the other things that I first do and change is the system navigation buttons. By default, the buttons are on here. So I like to swipe. So to change that, you go to home screen, go to system navigation. But if you prefer the buttons and you just wanna change the orientation, so it's more traditional Android, just turn that off. And now you have your back button on the left, reasons on the right, which is more traditional. But if you're like me and you're already used to the gestures, just toggle on the gestures here. And you know, you get your, your buttons go away and you have your traditional swipe gestures there. And another thing to change while you're here in the home screen settings is the reasons menu. So you'll notice that it's more of a vertical setting, which is actually can be nice because you can see more apps in this vertical setting. But if you want to change it more like traditional Android to the left and right scrolling, just move down here into arrange items and recents and you can change it to horizontal. So now when you swipe up, it's more like traditional Android. We can swipe left to right. Another thing you might want to change and make more like traditional Android is in the app launcher. So in the app drawer. So if you look here, it's all categorized. If you don't really like that, you can go here into that three dot menu and then you can go into app categories and you can actually turn that off if you don't like it or you can rearrange them uh, if you want to. But I personally just turn it off, um, not my, my thing. And then it becomes more like regular Android where you just have a whole bunch of apps on your screen, recent apps on top, all that can be changed and customized from here. So there you go, that's some first settings that I typically change when using a device running MIUI. So let me know other features that you like that I may not have covered and that you find personally useful. I might go ahead and check those out. They may help me out, might help others out. But hopefully you found this video helpful in customizing and setting up your brand new Xiaomi device, specifically this Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try to answer what I can. And as always, thanks for watching.